Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I'll be your gaming monk for the evening. Welcome to the first of a hopefully recurring series called Characters with Character. Ray took in a character from a certain medium like video games, television, manga, and so on, and adapt them into a character sheet for a role-playing game. For our first entry in this, we'll be delving into the lead character of the PS1 hidden gem, Ashley Riot, risk breaker for the Valencia Knights of the Peace. Regardless of system, this is going to be a challenge due to the sheer variety of build available in the source material, as Vagrant's story boasts a system where finding the right weapon and skill for the job is encouraged, alongside trying to survive and explore the cursed city of Leamond. Vagrant's story is a game that was very much ahead of its time, and I'd like to see a cleaned up re-release in the future, hopefully. For the purpose of this conversion, we'll be using 13th Age as our basis for filling out the crunchy bits. I should note that we'll be using Ashley as a risk breaker early on in the story, instead of the later Vagrant. I should also note that we'll be going slightly out of the usual character creation steps, but there's a purpose to this. Let's start with some of the easier parts. The one unique thing would be his Eokus Rude Necklace. Concerning the icon system, 13th Age's answer to alignments, this is going to take a bit of stretching of definitions. I think some of Ash's early relationships can fit within the icon system. To keep it simple, we'll put all three in a positive relationship with the Emperor to reflect his position as a VKP member. One of the reasons I went with 13th Age in this regard is due to its use of backgrounds instead of skills, which is the part we'll tackle next. Five of the points here can be spent in Risk Breaker, with three more placed in Nascent Magician to reflect how Leamon's magic affects him in the story. It's in the choice of class that things get interesting, because we'll be kind of cheating here. To explain why, I need to go into the three pillars I chose to focus on with Vagrant Story's combat system. First, the Risk System, which gradually decreases accuracy while increasing critical chance. This is in combination with the offensive chain and defense abilities when attacking or defending. The third is the Break Arts, which are powerful maneuvers that may be activated at the cost of health. Our choice of class has to be able to represent the spirit of these three pillars, as well as the ability to utilize builds of weapons and armor that we see fit. Taking all that into account, the best approach is to make Ashley a fighter. Kind of. In a narrative context, Ashley is more akin to a ranger, but the reason I chose fighter can be summed up with his flexible attack series of maneuvers. The fact that these are activated based on a die result rather than a resource makes them an ideal fit for the timing-based approach I mentioned before with chain and defense abilities. While the Escalation die provides an excellent inverse to risk by making prolonged encounters dangerous, it doesn't quite go far enough. To reflect this, we'll be enacting a house rule allowing the maneuver Carve an Opening to be available as a feature. This maneuver activates on odd rolls and grants a cumulative plus one to critical threat range, until a critical hit is landed and the threat range resets itself. While this is normally restricted to melee attacks, we'll be expanding this house ruled version to include ranged attacks as well. The flexible attack maneuvers fill a similar niche to chain abilities, being activated based on the actual attack die rolls. The choice to opt for offense or defense is up to the player's choice in build, and as such I won't fill in specifics. Over the course of the video game, Ashley has access to magic through grimoires. This can be reflected through scrolls granted by the GM, or, alternately, the use of the arcane knight talent from the 13th Age Vault, which lets the fighter take a first level sorcerer spell leveling it as the fighter does. The last piece of the puzzle are the break arts. This powerful but risky mechanic can be addressed with the second of our two house rules. Instead of having break arts be their own list of maneuvers, which adds in its own set of problems, we'll have break arts be a singular effect that allows you to cheat the mechanics of flexible attacks at a cost. Timing-wise, a break art is declared when you land a successful attack and allows you to use any flexible attack maneuver on it, regardless of die roll. However, in doing this, you don't lose HP, but instead one of your recoveries is spent without gaining the healing benefits from it, effectively burning it. And that is how I would address a relatively classless character like Ashley Riot in a class-centric game like 13th Age. I would recommend anyone using the system be fairly generous on restatting talents, feats, and maneuvers through a campaign. Obviously, this character sheet is going to be a little incomplete as presented, but this is by design to reflect Ashley's status as a mechanical blank slate. That's the first of many in this series. If you've got a character you'd like to see me tackle with this, there's a form in the description you can fill out and send to me. I look forward to tackling more of these in the future. Until then, stay frosty everybody!